When we talk about environmental issues, I, I agree with you. I think for a lot of people, that's not front and center right now. And I represent a district where consistently from the time I started running in 2017 up until the, you know the pandemic first hit in March here in, in Michigan, um, environmental issues were their top priority. Uh, you know, water contamination, air quality, things like that. And I do think that that's not necessarily front and center, but I think it's really, really important that we recognize that all of the issues we were talking about before the pandemic hit, things like education, healthcare, yes, the environment, all played a role in what the pandemic looked like here. So if we're just looking at the environment, there are areas that are facing uh, you know, really poor air quality and the residents of those areas typically have uh, respiratory issues every day of the year. Uh, water quality, uh, water contamination, depending on what's in the water, sometimes suppresses the immune system and causes, you know, uh, other underlying health health effects. And then when you put a pandemic on top of that, those areas were hit even harder than areas that weren't facing those environmental issues. So I understand that right now people aren't necessarily thinking about PFAS contamination or you know air quality from the uh, that's being impacted by the the marathon petroleum refinery but those issues are still very very connected to the problems that we're facing during the pandemic the pandemic exacerbated those already existing issues so i i know that it's very difficult to look at those through the lens of covid19 but i think it's very important that we do because there's a reason that all of these issues were so critical this time last year even you know back in february uh, they're still very, very important. And I think that the pandemic has actually underlined why they're so important. We've just kind of seen a different perspective of it.